Hey friendos, how's it going? It's The Enforcer here with another Jersey unboxing video. And this is the payoff for the spin the wheel, make the deal video that I released last week. Now this one, I had to do a little bit of searching. If somebody, I guess if you're watching this, you've already seen it or you don't care. Um, had a uh, Minnesota Wild was the last one left on the list or on the wheel to uh to pick up so it was all random except for the kraken i've already got my kraken and i was able to find a prime green so here's just some of my prime greens that i have right here this one is a duplicate of one that i have a climb -a -light of so might as well show you some differences between prime green and uh the climb -a -light that i have here now the un another unfortunate thing is I was not able to find this jersey through Sports K, Ben H, eBay, uh, River City Sports, any of the other places, uh, Cool Hockey, anything like that I couldn't find. I had to go to the NHL website. Now, if anybody knows, that is now owned by Fanatics. It's a F Fanatics experience, I guess, is what they uh, market it as. Um, for me, I just find it to be utter trash. Um, it's uh, it's retail price. Um, they send it to you in the worst bag they can. I mean, I, I ship, okay? Uh, not just eBay and, and, and just personal stuff, but I work in a warehouse where we ship products all throughout uh, the country and sometimes overseas. And this has got to be one of the jankiest, thinnest, crappiest poly bags I've ever seen. Like this one here, I'll, you know, I'll show, show you this one. This one is from Fanatics, okay, NHL.com. This one, nice quality one from River City Sports, uh, uh, Uline even, and I deal with Uline a lot. This one here is just from a, a eBay person, way better than um, anything like that. I mean, Sports K gives it to you in a box, okay? And NHL.com, they give you a jersey that you pay full price for on the thing. Obviously, this was sliding along on a skid, just flowing on the ground here. And this is how they ship stuff. So I've got it documented here. If the, and now my hands are all dirty from this crap too. So, um, yeah, not happy that I had to go through NHL.com, but it is what it is. I mean, that's what the wheel dictated. I have no control over the wheel. So there we go. And yeah, this one is a uh, Minnesota Wild. This was uh, who the winner uh, was. So I'm going to open this up and we're going to see how this super thin poly bag of sadness, whether this jersey has, has lived or not. So, and of course it's just in a, a jankified bag here too. Look at, look at this. Ultimate and utter sadness here. Wait. Why does this thing say two, 249? Is this like Canadian or something? <laughs> maybe that's what it went, maybe that's what they were saying. So Minnesota Wild Prime Green jersey. Now I will say because of the, the prime greeniness of it, um, they've done a decent job um, if it's all to be believed here. So I'll come up close with you. You can see the Adidas neckline there. It is a prime green, as you can see. It is a six, okay, it's a 60, it's an Indo. There's the neckline. Shoulder patches, the M's, right there. And the prime green raised embroidery right there. For this one, the star is very pronounced right here, as well as this sort of, this green that's going all the way across 
and into this river, which is like the mouth of the uh, of the wild animal as well, and, and into the trees. I'll show it to you on the up close one here. Um, and yeah, no name, no number. Um, maybe maybe Caprice off one day, maybe not. I mean, these guys uh, did get bounced in six uh, from the Blues um, this year. Spoiler alert, but if you want to hear the um, mea culpa of this one, uh, uh, turn to Larry NHL. He'll give you a... Uh, actually, Larry, good job on uh, breaking down all the games uh, this playoff uh, season. Uh, we've been watching a couple of those, some of the ones that pertain to me or stuff I was interested in. Um, so that's good stuff. So here this one is. I'll... Uh, I'll bring you in closer. I got this thing on a gimbal. I'm trying to work this thing, so I really can't see what's going on. But maybe, maybe you'll be able to. So, raised embroidery right here in these trees, as well as, like I said, the star, and all the way around here, this, this green that's all the way around here. So it looks good. It's a nice-looking jersey. You see the neckline. It's right here, as well as the M that's on it, and on down to here. Um, sorry, I would show it a little bit better if I actually could see what's going on. But again, if I were to do the front-facing camera, everything would be uh, backwards. So what I'm going to do is for this one here, I have the um, Climalite jersey that I have here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to face it this way. This is the Climalite jersey. Maybe with this one I can give you a better view of it. So the Climalite here with the neckline. And here you see the, the, the green right in here. This is not raised up. And as well as you see, like right here in the mouth, this is not raised. Neither is uh, the, the trees that are right on into here. And as well as the star, the North Star that makes the eye. That is not um, up to uh, the prime green style. And also, this right here. Um, actually is a very well-made shoulder patch. It's not like the bad ones or the uh, sort of like single layer kind of feel that the um, that some other patches have. And then right here you see, hopefully you can see the difference in the embroidery and, and, and that going around in here. That's the main difference here. And you can really see it on the uh, Minnesota Wild jerseys for sure, the uh, the 3D-ness of it. So, Hey friendos, real quick I just wanted to uh, interrupt this video with another little video to show you really up close the prime green main logo that you see right here. Just want to get a quick little up to date that you see right here. So that's the prime green, and over here is the Climalite. As you can see, there's not much definition on the star. The green section here, around here, is very muted. Right around here, not much going on. And then as you see down around here, and as you know, I'll go once again. That was the Climalite, that was the last couple years models, and then this is the new one right there. There's not uh, much definition or um, sort of like texture here, but it's all right in here, which which looks absolutely gorgeous. So once again, I just wanted you guys to see the difference. Since I have the two of them, you can really see the difference in the craftsmanship between Prime Greens and the Climalite that's right here. So hopefully That'll let you guys see a little bit of a difference there. And maybe with the two of them there, you can see 
right there the differences that's really all that is different but man when you look at it like side by side you can really really tell a difference especially on this minnesota wild jersey all right on with the show all right so there that is here is the spin the wheel make the deal um nhl um you need to uh you need to tighten up what you do when you ship out things, especially with how much you're charging, um, to put this in a, what is this? One mil maybe. I mean, I could see, I could see right through this thing. Maybe a one mil, maybe with a two mil, two mil bag from a name operation, like, like Uline kill you. Um, I'm glad that the Jersey got here safe that I am happy with, but if it wouldn't have, then on I go with a chat, trying to figure out the issue, sending the thing back, waiting for a refund, and then I still don't have a jersey. So um, at least it came in one piece, all set and ready to go. Um, also, one thing I will say, um, we got to the end of the first round of the playoffs. I just touch right here at the end about what's going on currently with the playoffs. Um, Toronto, I don't feel this is like the same years as before where, you know, you, you gave up a three, one lead to, um, Montreal, um, other times where you just sort of didn't show up for the playoffs. I mean, um, you had a three, two series lead. You could have finished it off, uh, uh game seven at home. Uh, I know it's a defending champ, so it's tough. The, the last uh, the last win in a series is always the hardest, so I, I can't fault or give blame to anybody. Um, Pittsburgh, uh, Louis, uh, King Louis um, standing on his head up until the magic faded away at the end of game uh, six with that, uh, that soft, soft goal. Um, that one going to overtime, uh, uh, amazing. Uh, Dallas, uh, uh, Ottinger. Tip of the cap for what you were doing, standing on your head, keeping keeping Dallas alive there, man. Um, amazing. You got a uh, D Dallas uh, T Texas hockey. You got yourselves a um, a uh, a goalie there, man. Uh, so nice job on on that. Uh, Kings giving the Oilers uh, all they could. Um, to be fair, I would have uh, as much as I didn't like the Kings or I don't not a big Kings fan. Uh, would have been nice to see. Um, them knock them off and then the uncertainty of what would happen in Edmonton would have completely gone off the rails there uh maybe McDavid would have went somewhere maybe he would have went to the wings who knows um but love to see the battle of Alberta uh nice to see that old school hockey um being revived in a uh in a in a uh, what is that conference semifinals a, a round of eight match so that's that's great just looking forward to even just more hockey the fact that the playoffs are here, every game matters. You know, from here on, one game, two games a night we're going to get uh, for for a couple of weeks, which is fantastic. And, um, yeah, just no better playoffs than, uh, than, than the hockey playoffs, the NHL playoffs. So that'll be it for me, friendos. I will say if you're watching it, when this thing drops for the next couple of days, uh, Steve here and myself will be going to L.A. fights at the Ukrainian Cultural Center downtown here in L.A., 2 p.m. matinee. If you're there, uh, come by, say hi, uh, a picture, a handshake, a two sweet, whatever you want to do, uh, uh, we got you covered. Um, and then him and I are going to hit Frank and Sons uh, Sunday morning, and then he goes back up north. So it uh, should be a fun time uh, connecting with, uh, with with old Steve here. Now that I've known him from the stream. So that should be fun. And um, that's all I got now. Thank you, friendos, for reaching the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of, of this uh, of this jersey pickup that the wheel has gotten me. Let me know, honestly, if you've picked up anything from NHL.com or Fanatics, um, the service that you've gotten, how, how have your bags or boxes uh, looked from them? Uh, I'd love to know. Um, because I always worry when something like this uh, gets dropped. Pardon me, if it gets dropped off, I always wonder 
How's the inside of this thing gonna be? Especially this back that was so dirty and filthy and nasty. One rip. And that's all, that's all she wrote. So, friendos, again, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye.